What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here to the channel, you're probably lost. My name is Jay. Today we're taking a look at this, running through this. What else do I have to say? <laughs> So I am still loving the EVH 5150 Stealth 50 watt version. This thing is sick. Last week I ran it through the Mesa 212 cab, sounded pretty good. This week I'm running it through my 1990, uh, 1960 Marshall slant cab with the Celestion G12T75 speakers, which everybody hates, but for some reason I like them a lot more than the uh, vintage 30s. I can't, what can I tell you? Maybe it's the size of the cabinet, I'm not really sure. But in any regard, it just sounds amazing. What are the practical applications of having a head or 50 watt head? Well, for me, um, basically, you know, playing bar gigs and uh, maybe small outdoor festivals in the summer here locally, stuff like that would be a lot of fun. And I think this would prove to be very useful in that application. Um, I'm not doing stadiums, I wish. And I wanna do more than just play in my bedroom and record for myself. So if I'm gonna get out there with a band and start jamming away, you know, in the summertime, I gotta have something that can, you know, hold, withstand the uh, rigors of uh, you know on the road life, throwing it in and out of the back seat or the uh, the trunk or the van or what have you. So this is definitely going to get the job done. Super happy to have this as my first head ever, my first tube head that I've ever played through. Yeah. So what do you guys think? You know, I, I switched through a few tones here, and uh, between the blue and the red channel, I have to say that in my particular opinion, the um, the tone stack on both sides is pretty much identical. The only real difference, again, is that the red channel is much more compressed, it's more controllable, it's more of a more processed, produced sound, I would say, whereas the blue channel is more open and more present, you know, sounds more in the room and live, but it probably takes a little more tweaking and maybe some additional pedals to kind of, you know, hone it in, tighten it up a little bit. I'm playing right now with no pedals. All I've got going is a little uh, delay through the effects loop, and uh, just to kind of open it up a little bit, but there's no drive going in front of this yet. There's no noise gate and there's no other, you know, enhancing uh, time based effects, which I would use generally, even in my rhythm tones. I like to have it's very rare for me to use just a completely bone dry stock, dry rhythm tone and yeah, more of the gent style stuff. So I probably want a little lower gain, a little bit more tight, focused, um, saturated tone but still with the low gain. So I'm gonna boost it up, keep the gain low, and then add some time-based effects, you know, when when needed. Um, another thing I would like to try very soon, actually, is a, a Digitech Whammy pedal with this thing because I recently got into uh, the band While She Sleeps, which if you're not familiar with them, one of the guitar players, Sean Long, is really awesome. 
Most of the rhythm stuff that he writes, well, a lot of it actually that I've heard, utilizes the whammy pedal. And it just sounds great. It's like the thing I've been looking for that I didn't know I needed, but now I need it. That's gonna be next on the list. Um, combine that with this, a noise gate, some other time-based effects, and I'm good to go. That's a rock solid stage setting for me. So, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this tone about how crappy my playing is. You know, let me know how punchable my face is. I don't care, just leave a comment down below. We'll chat down there about it a little bit more. And uh, meanwhile, yeah, get on with your day. This is gonna be a short one. So uh, pretty much I'm out of here. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.